All right, so here we go again. So if anyone's new here, welcome. And what we're doing is we're trying to build or rebuild something that's like the lost app caustic. Uh, so yeah, here we go. Uh, what, what's been done since last time, I just, you know, played with the colors because it's quite fun doing that. Uh, and that's the whole point here, having fun. I'm not being paid. I want this project to be completely free. Um, you know, why not? You know, fuck it. Just, you know, completely free. Um, so that requires some effort from, from everybody uh, later on. Um, and it, but here, here we are, we have, the, we have the sliders and it works also on, on On, come on on an iPad like here and you can see that it um, it should yeah exactly it pads out so so naturally you don't want the address bar in, in in the final version but here you have the sliders and you snap here uh, and you have uh, fine uh, control if you uh, go if you go horizon horizontally and then you have these switches so it's all about having the having the user interface work on a mobile device it's, so this is mobile first we're not trying to build like a com compete with uh, any existing door that would be just you know point waste of time so it's just mobile uh, and then but if of course it will build for you know whatever uh, Android and uh, Linux and uh, and uh, Windows and uh, Mac, uh, but it, the the primary, the first focus is is uh, the mobile platforms. And I've been playing with this, and it works quite okay, I think. Um, and as I say, it all it's it's all being rendered by an XML file. Um, I those of you who have been around here before probably getting annoyed because of me showing them that again but what I need to say about that it's that it isn't really sufficient because we are just making like this the module here we need something that glues it all together so that's that's part that part is missing so you can see here should be some keys and I've been playing with that just to render some keys in in HTML and it's it's quite simple in doing that so that's not a problem um, and also the the transport control in the bottom uh, so um, but it's just you know it, it annoys me that I really haven't figured this out how to how to put it all together um, but the engine is really small and that's fun so I'm I'm still having quite you know I'm not jumping on any bandwagon here on juice and i've been also looking at uh, Qt for building uis and it seems like an amazing platform but you know yeah i've been having my doubts lately honestly because <clears throat> the web has its disadvantages um but the current struggle what what is the current struggle is that i need to make some kind of progress and then then we need to move over to C. It's just it's just that simple as that. And once we do that, um, the architecture to be should be a bit more uh, stable. Um, yeah, I have some new news from the from also from um, the developer of, of Caustic because I asked him uh, very clearly if he was interested in 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 selling the source code. Uh, just you know as an option to to doing all this work just taking the source code from caustic 3 and and having it having it reworked uh, but he wasn't interested in that and that's probably because he might release caustic 4 and on the other side that has been a rumor for like four or five years so don't put your hopes too high on that uh, so you are stuck with me um, and yourself so please, uh, when when there's time, be ready to contribute because that would be just awesome. Um, what's more is that we have I've been looking at the serialization of projects. What I mean with that is how do you how do you save songs? How does the actual storage of 
of the song work. So here is a folder called user that should not be in the in the final product. So this is really like in the in the users uh, directory rather. But here is a example of a project's um, money, but by Pink Floyd. So if we look at that, we have a BPM and the time sign. And I'm playing with swings to see if that could be cool to have a combination of swings in, in fourths, eighths and sixteenths. But I'm not quite there yet. And the master tune is actually not being set here by the by the this project. So you have the pro project and you, you have the racks. Uh, and this is all and some patterns. Uh, this all leads down to something that sounds quite awful, if you ask me. Um, like that. And then you see it starts up everything and it sets the variables to the synths. Uh, and here we have something dreadful, pro probably. Let's see. Load project dot what I don't know if you can hear it but there is actually three tracks going on here there's the bass there's the drums and there's some cheesy piano so that's that so it kind of works um and that's I guess that's all for now you know I'm, I'm struggling I'm struggling because I have get this kind of is this the right path or should I just learn use or actually should I just, you know, drop the whole thing and just someone out there knowing use, you know, do what you want. Take take this, you know, build Caustic 4. I will buy it. Um, or should I continue? I don't know. Um, so... Um, but anyhow, it's fun that you're here and, you know, as long as it's fun, I will continue. And sometimes I struggle, so then I get, you know, confused. So anyhow, enough said. And uh, I hope you like this update and I'm, I will push this to the GitHub so you can just, you know, get it and, and play with it. And there are flaws and everything, of course, but it, it's getting more and more stable. So have patience and faith. Okay, take care everybody. Cheers.